Quizá no fue coincidencia encontrarme contigo Tal vez esto lo hizo el destino Quiero dormirme de nuevo en tu pecho Y después me despierte en tus besos Tus sexto sentido sueña conmigo Sé que pronto estaremos unidos Esa sonrisa traviesa que vive conmigo Welcome to Peace Corps Craves. I'm Jason Holiday, and this is my house in Chimborazo, Ecuador. I kind of live on the outskirts of town, but it's still a pretty cozy place. Let's go have a look inside. Here's the door leading into my corridor, and as you can see, it's pretty safe with a nice tall wall and a strong metal gate. So here's the corridor leading to my house. As you can see, my landlady really likes plants. I especially like these flowers because they attract really pretty birds in the morning. Also have my bike here on my left. And my tire garden with dying plants on my right. So we arrive at my door and as security is always an issue in Ecuador, you can see it's made out of metal and has a padlock on it. So let's go see where the magic happens. So when you enter, we arrive in my dining room and this runner I purchased in Wamote in the indigenous market. I also have this tapestry on the wall I purchased in Otavalo, another indigenous market. And if you walk a little further in, you come to my kitchen. That's where my fridge is. And since I do enjoy cooking, I splurged a little bit and bought a full stove with oven, which most Peace Corps volunteers don't have. And here is where I keep all my cooking utensils, cups, Tupperware, and finally we arrive over here where I have all my pots, pans, silverware, and plates. So I don't think my apartment was actually built as an apartment, so as you can see the kitchen's kind of lacking in storage space, so I had to buy this pantry here in Riobamba. As you know, I like to cook, so it's where I keep all my dry goods, veggies, spices, so I can have anything on hand at a moment's notice. An interesting fact about Ecuador is that stoves aren't electric, they're always gas, and there's usually not a connection, so you have to buy gas tanks. Over here on my right are all my maps that I've collected from Ecuador so far. Which lead us into the bathroom. So, now we arrive in the bathroom, and another thing about Ecuador is that most showers aren't connected to water heaters, instead they have electric water heaters, which heat the water as it comes through in house. And 
here's my toilet. As you can see, my bathroom is kind of miniature, so it's a tad difficult to sit down on it. It's really close to the wall. And now we head into the living room. As a good Texan, of course I have both my flag displayed of my country and of my state. These wonderful chairs I bought, which are super comfortable, they're literally translated into lazies. My guest bed, which doubles as a couch. And on my wall over here, I've started to create a mural of all the posters and educational materials that we give out at my work. And finally, we come to my bedroom. I use the closet that my landlady gave me to divide it from the rest of the room. I also have my bedside table, and since I don't have a lamp, I have to read by candlelight at night. My bed with my nice new mattress I just purchased. And behind me are the curtains, which I have to say are really nice, especially because I made them all by myself by hand. So that's my house. I hope you enjoyed the visit. Come back and see me anytime you like. Shot the shot, take one, action. This is gonna make them sick. <laughs> hey, what's the big idea? And action. And finally we come to my bedroom. Where you'll see I had to make shift make. No 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 no. Another thing is that the showers No. Shit. And opposite of us is my wall where I started to create a mural of all the posters and educative oh, twice with educative action. An interesting fact about Ecuador is most no 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 that's dumb okay I especially like these flowers because they attract really pretty birds and these nice big hummingbirds that we go. And behind me the curtains, which I'm really proud of myself because I made them all by myself. Alright, thanks for stopping by. Hope y'all enjoyed your visit. Y'all come back? No. No, I'm not saying that.